Hey, watch it. Bro, you just scuffed on my shoes. These are $300 sneakers. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. How would you feel if I stepped in your shoes, huh? Hey, are you Sam? Username SneakerKid33? Yeah, you must be Skylar. Or should I say Flykick Scale? Yep, that's me. And these are the limited edition sneakers you asked for. Wow, they're perfect. That'll be $200. Okay, I should have enough. Let me see. 100, 120, 140, 150. <sighs> Shoot, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Oh, okay. It's not a problem, I understand. 150 is fine. Wow, really? I thought for sure you were going to say no. Well, someone once taught me, you have to always put yourself in other people's shoes because you never know what they're going through. So I'm happy to help. Hey, watch it. Bro, you just scuffed on my shoes. These are $300 sneakers. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. How would you feel if I stepped in your shoes, huh? Oh, uh, I don't know. Because I, I don't have any shoes. To be honest, I don't even remember how it feels wearing shoes. I've been walking barefoot for months. Whatever, man. Get lost. Anyway, where were we? Um, uh, just one second. Excuse me, sir. I want you to have this. What? I couldn't possibly take those. That's too much. No, I insist. No one should have to walk around barefoot. So please, take them. Really? Oh my god, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. My feet have been hurting so bad lately. I've hardly been able to walk. You have no idea what this means to me. God bless you. God bless you too. <sighs> you can't be serious. You just lost $150 to give some homeless man shoes? Yeah, I did. Why in the world would you do that? Because I know what it feels like to not have any shoes. You see, a few years ago, I waited at home for my parents to come back from work. Except, they never ended up making it home. I got a phone call saying that they had gotten into a car crash, and neither one of them survived. Being all alone, with no one to take care of me, I ended up living on the streets. Things got so bad, that even the one pair of shoes I had fell apart. But then one day, a stranger came and saw the condition I was in. Even though she didn't even know me, she decided to help me. When I asked her why, she told me something I'll never forget. She said, you should always put yourself in other people's shoes because you never know what they're going through. So you see, that lady changed my life forever. Because of her, I bought some shoes and even started my own business of selling shoes online. Oh my god. I'm so sorry you went through that. Thanks. And I'm really sorry about your shoes, but I'm sure you'll find a great new use of your $150. Actually, you're right. Uh, there's something I have to do, but it was nice meeting you, Flag Scale. I'll never forget you. Excuse me, sir. Please, if this is about messing up your shoes, I'm really sorry. No, no, it's not about that. I actually wanted to come here and give you this. Please, take it. But I don't understand. I thought you were mad at me. Why would you help me? Well, someone once taught me that you should always put yourself in other people's shoes because 
You never know what they're going through. And I'm sure you need this more than me. Oh my god. Thank you so much. This is going to change my life. God bless you, sir. God bless you too. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you love that message. Please remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. And do you really need to be eating a candy bar right now? I mean, well, yeah, I, I do. You see, I have this condition. You're still pushing up against me. Ah! Can't take this! Is everything okay over here? No, everything is not okay. I shouldn't have to sit in this seat next to her. Hi, you're just in time. Darman's just about to get on stage. Great. Um, are there any seats left? Uh, yes, there's one last seat towards the front. Ah, and here's an outline of the program. Today's topic is compassion for strangers. Oh, no need. I'm just here because I heard that he gives away money at the beginning of all his talks. Is it true that the last time he gave away $10,000? Yes, it's true. Wow. I could buy so many Louis Vuitton bags with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my seat. Is that seat open? Yep, it's open. Have a seat. I'm Chelsea, by the way. I can't get by. Oh, sorry. These seats are so small. It's not that the seats are small, you're just too big. Could you mind moving so that I can get in? I'm sorry. Darman's one of my favorite motivational speakers. I've got all his books. How long have you been following him for? I don't know who he is. I just know that he gives away cash. I'm here for the money. Oh, uh... Well, you are gonna love the talk. Look, can you just scoot over? You're all in my space. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Is that as far as you can go? You're still touching me. I'm, I'm really sorry, but this is as far as I can go. All right, everyone. We are just about to get started. Darman will be coming on stage momentarily. Yes, I am so excited. <laughs> I've been wanting to see him in person for so long. You know, I think you're really going to love this guy. Can you not talk with food in your mouth? That's disgusting. I'm so sorry. And do you really need to be eating a candy bar right now? I mean, well, yeah, I, I do. You see, I have this condition. You're still pushing up against me. Ah, can't take this. Is everything okay over here? No, everything is not okay. I shouldn't have to sit in this seat next to her. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but it looks like all of the seats are full. This is ridiculous. Here. You can take my seat. I don't mind sitting there. Oh, thank goodness. Excuse me. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I'm Jake. Hey, Jake. I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry there's not much room for you. Oh, there's plenty of space. Don't worry about that. Compassion for strangers. That's why we're here, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your speaker, Darman! 
Hey guys, thank you all so much for being here today. As you guys know, I usually like to start off my talks by giving back to my Darman fam. So, who's ready to win a big prize? And today, you're in for a real treat because I decided to do my biggest cash giveaway ever. $100,000. $100,000? Wow, he's always so generous. I hope it goes to someone who deserves it. Me too. Good luck. So under every single seat here, there is an envelope. But only one of those envelopes contains a check for $100,000. Please check under your seats now. Camera's rolling. I won. I won. I can't believe it. I won. Congratulations. Uh, wait, wait. That's not fair. That was my seat. I should have won. Well, actually, you said you shouldn't have to sit in that seat. So you gave your seat to him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Young lady, I'm about to give you something even more valuable than money. Can you give me just a moment of your time? Thank you. Chelsea, can you please come up here? Thank you. So you guys, Chelsea is actually a friend of mine. And I asked her to come here today to talk about compassion for strangers. But I'll let her tell you her story. Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea. Dar asked me to come here today to be a part of this talk. You see, no matter how hard I try, I can't lose weight. I've been this size for as long as I can remember. Every day, people judge me. Some people even make mean comments. But the one thing that hurts me the most is when no one wants to sit next to me. Today, as I sat in my seat, I fought back tears as I watched each and every one of the seats get taken, except for the one next to me. So you see, Dar purposely put the money under the seat next to mine to raise awareness, because we knew the only person that would sit in that seat is someone who had compassion for strangers. Hey Darman fam, I hope you love that message about why you should always have compassion for strangers. I appreciate you watching and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. Because of the love and support you guys give me, we just hit this many views. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Next. Okay. Total is fourteen eighty seven. This is six dollars and twelve cents. I said fourteen eighty seven. Thought I had more, let me see. This is all I have. And you'll have to put something back. You can take the mail out. Look, could you hurry up, please? I don't have all day, buddy. I'm really sorry. Daddy, is something wrong? No, sweetie, everything's okay. Total's now 1286. You still don't have enough. 
Atlas and you can take the cake out. Daddy, no! It's for Grandpa's birthday. He's been really sad. You want to leave it or not? You can take it. Sorry, sorry. Total now 604. Next. Finally. Some people are just the worst. I know, right? Sweetie. It's gonna be okay. But Grandpa has been so sad lately. And the cake would have made him so happy. Excuse me? I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I just saw what happened back there, and I thought that maybe I could help. So, please, take this. <laughs> wow, man. Um... Thank you. But, but why are you doing this? You don't even know us. Well, I don't know what it's like to not have enough. You see, when I was a young boy, my mother and I were homeless and we barely had enough money to eat. We went to the grocery store and when my mom got to the cashier, she didn't have enough money to pay. We left the store empty handed, not knowing how we were gonna eat that night. But then, out of nowhere, an amazing man bought us some food. We didn't know how we would ever repay him. But he gave us this card and said the only thing we needed was to one day help someone else in need. So you see, I'll never forget that kind man. He thought he was just giving me food, but he gave me so much more than that. A life lesson I'll never forget. He made such a big difference in my life. And We'll probably never know. Wow, man. That's a beautiful story. My grandpa's gonna be so happy. Here, you take this. And just always remember to pay it forward and help someone else in need. I will. Thank you, mister. Dad, we got something for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. Happy birthday to you. This is lovely. My favorite cake. It's nothing, sweetie. I'm fine. Please, Dad. Just, just tell us what's wrong. It's just that I turned 76 years old today. And lately, I can't help but wonder, has my life had any purpose? Have I made any difference in this world? Please. Don't talk like that. It's like, today is your birthday and we want to celebrate that. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's do that. But son, how could you afford to buy this cake? I know things have been hard. Just to be honest, I didn't have any money, but there was this man who, he bought everything for us. And the only thing he asked us to do in return was to do it for someone else in the future. He even gave us his card. He said that someone gave it to him when he was little.
everything okay? Listen, man. I just realized that my life did make a difference. Now, who wants the first piece? Me. <laughs> uh, no, me. Uh, excuse me. Dad, I'm your child. I'm your grand. Only I way you have a grandchild is because of me. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you love that message about how the kindness you put out into the world always finds a way of coming back to you. I appreciate you watching, and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Are you Mary Johnson? Yes. Is everything okay? I have an eviction notice for you. Right. Time's up. Take your things and go. What? No, no. No, please, sir. I thought I had until 5 p.m. I'm doing this all by myself. No, you had your chance. This house has been sold in foreclosure. So either leave willingly or you'll be arrested for trespassing. Your choice. You don't understand. My husband, he left me with nothing. I have nowhere to go. I just need a little more time. Look, lady, that's your problem, not mine. Please. Help me. The only person that can change the decision is the person who owns this house. Now, I'm not going to ask you again. Gather your things and leave. Excuse me, sir. I'll handle it from here. Ma'am, everything's going to be okay. Buddy, I don't know who you think you are, but this woman is being evicted. And the only person that can stop that is the owner of this house. Well, she is the owner of this house. I have the title. Whose name is on there? Mary Johnson. I don't understand. I purchased the house from foreclosure. I put Mary's name on it. And now she's the owner. I had no idea. I'll leave you to be. I don't know what to say. Why, why would you do this? You don't even know me. Well, you see, when I was a child, I was saved by a stranger who completely changed my life. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bother you, but I really need help. Are you okay? No, I, I don't have anywhere to go or any money for food please i don't know what to do oh sweetie where are your parents they both just passed away i'm all alone i don't have anyone else i am so sorry let me see if i have anything okay look we've got our own problems we can't be helping anyone else come on let's go he's a child some cash I can give him. What are you doing? We can hardly afford rent this month. Besides, we don't even know this kid. He's probably going to use it to buy drugs. But what if he's telling the truth? I have to help him. You are unbelievable. I can't watch this. Uh, you know what? Take it all. I hope it helps. Thank you so much, but you don't even know me. When you give, you always get more back in return. But how am I ever going to pay you back? Uh, you don't have to pay me back. Just promise me that when you get back on your feet, you'll help someone in need. I promise. Here. My mom always used to tell me, Mary Johnson, with this, you'll have good luck.
Good luck. As I grew older, I got into real estate because I never wanted to be homeless again. Over time, I ended up becoming one of the top real estate investors in town. And then recently, while checking the foreclosure listings, I saw a name that I would never forget. Mary Johnson. A name that changed my life forever. I was that boy. And I'll never forget the lesson you taught me. You told me you should always help those in need. Because when you give, you get back more in return. Oh my God. I'm speechless. Thank you. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay you. Mary? Just promise me when the time comes and you're back on your feet, you'll help someone else in need. <laughs> hey fam, it's Dar. I hope you love that message about how the goodness you put out into the world always finds a way of coming back to you. Thank you for watching my videos and remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.